everybody how are you doing today it's lisa i'm doing well i know i didn't do a sat chat on saturday and i just wanted to come in and just spend a little bit of time with you guys i am actually going to on a um on a to a doctor's appointment this morning um and also my son oh it's not a doctor's appointment i'm going to have an ultrasound done this morning on my stomach um last not the past Monday, this past Monday, but the Monday before, I started having these feelings in my stomach. And for you guys who who's had children, you know that feeling you get when it feels like you're you're hungry, but you're not really hungry. And it's kind of, the doctor described it as a gnawing feeling, gnawing, G N A W I N G, and that's what I feel. I've been feeling that since that Monday, off and on, and this morning is still here so um i went day before yesterday i went to the doctor actually last tuesday wednesday monday and she ordered ultrasound for me she also ordered up um some blood work and this breath test i had never heard of that before but i went to do it yesterday and you 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 can't drink or, or put anything in your mouth for at least two hours before so that's no brushing your teeth no mouthwash no gum nothing okay sorry about that i get at least 10 phone calls a day from these people talking about my final attempt it's been my final attempt for about it's been their final attempt to reach me for about five months now anyway every day is their final attempt so like I said you can't have anything in your mouth you can't brush your teeth nothing can no water nothing can go in your mouth so I decided you know since it's lab core you can go whenever you want so I decided to go as soon as I got up that morning went with breath and every, everything anyway so um what you do is you hold your breath for about five seconds and then you blow into this bag the bag looks like a um, Capri Sun bag it's kind of crazy you know what the pre-sign is, is in and it has a little twisty top that you screw on that's what it looks like so when you blow into it it kind of inflates and then they give you the stuff to drink it's like a sweet tangy sour liquid and you drink that and i think i waited for about 15 minutes i think it was about 15 minutes and then i went back and did the test again blew into the bag and then i could go so I was asking, you know, what is this? They were basically saying it 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 is other option it shows other options of you know stomach problems, what's going on with the stomach. I guess the breath can tell a lot, I guess. Anyway, when I talk to my doctor again, I'll have her explain it to me because I had never seen that before. So yeah. And then my son has to go with me. The hell? Because his appointment he has a a CT scan now last month I think I told you guys my baby was complaining about his chest hurting anyway supposedly he sneezed and hurt something whatever so when they did the TC CT scan they also found a nodule in his lung and we had to go no they did a not the CT scan then they did something else e EKG or something and they found the nodule so yeah we had to go get him a T CT scan and it showed bacterial pneumonia so he had to take a test whatever not a test he had to take medication for a couple of weeks and the doctor ordered another CT scan after the medication was over to see if everything was gone so his appointment is today for that as well so we shall see I am um, my my stomach does not hurt it just feels funny so there's no pain and you know I feel like I just feel hungry I actually feel pregnant and I know that's not true we all know anybody who's been 
with me for a while, you guys already know that I can't mm, 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 have none. Not because I don't want to, but because it's physically impossible. Guys, it is, well, not right now, but it's been 100 plus degrees every day in Arizona. It's supposed to be a little cooler today than it has been 90 degrees. But that's cooler, but yeah, it's cooler than it has been. So I'm in my dressing room with the heat on up in here because it's chilly with the air on. Hey guys, you see this? Right here? That's some foolishness, but you know what? I'm working with it. It's not, I can't do anything about it right now, so I'm just going to have to work with it. But yeah, I wasn't happy about that. And for right now, you know, I wanted to try the the dye that covers up the gray, but I'm nervous now. You know, they took my um, friend who's a beautician told me to wait at least two weeks after I did my relaxer to put the dye in. But it's been longer than that and I'm still kind of nervous because of what happened with the, that stuff. That stuff. So, yeah, so guys, we shall see what my ultrasound shows the last ultrasound I had was of my my lady parts my you know because um my mammogram came back last time as well I guess they wanted to see more imaging so that caused a little bit of concern and then once I um went to get that done and they did the ultrasound told me right away that there were some lymph nodes that they had seen the last time that had gotten a little bit bigger and they were just trying to figure out what was going on but it ended up being nothing so i go for my physical on my yearly on the 25th and that's when i get you know the blood test for all the the other stuff like high blood is a high blood pressure you guys know those series of tests they give you during your 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 physical your yearly but you know of course since i had the hysterectomy i don't have to worry about the the lady parts as far as they, those exams but yeah um which i think is weird because i have a friend who's a doctor and you know not just her but i know that there's no way to test for ovarian cancer cancer so to me it is kind of concerning i think that they should I don't know. I, I don't know. But, um, because it's like, how do you know if you have it if you don't have a test for it? So she told me, it's kind of funny. She said, so every so often, she said, conveniently have pain in your abdomen. That way they ordered the test. And they order, you know, ultrasound, and then they get to see. I was like, that's kind of crazy, which I think it should be a part of the insurance, just like our yearly. Because of that, because there's no way to tell. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try something. Maybe. I don't know. So how have you guys been? Did I even ask that? Okay, this is... No, nah, I don't want to do that. Alright. Let's try some lip gloss. This is Stay Glossy. Because I don't do too much makeup today. I don't want... I don't want to... Stay glossy. This is by Rimmel something. So let's try some of that. And I think I 
got another one for one of you guys too, I think. I think I did. You guys know I'm all up in the... I don't know, I can't seem to get it together this, this morning. For whatever reason. But, um... I think I have another one. I think I bought two. So... Anyway, let's try this one. Or did I already open mine? Okay, so it looks like this. It looks like it's just, yeah, it's almost clear. It has a nice smell. It doesn't smell like anything I can associate with something else, so there's no taste. Well, if you use too much, as you can see, make you look lucky you have the white mouth. So dang it last thing I wanted to do is put a little lip liner give it just a little bit of color and that's about all I'm doing so yeah. Uh oh. Look at this. I'm pulling the thing off and all the silver coming off with it. Ciao. Anyway, guys, like I said, I think I have another one of these. I bought another one. And if I did, I'll put it in the giveaway for the month. If not, I'm sure there's something else that I can put in there. So. I don't know what to say about this. I really don't know what to say about it. I mean, it doesn't feel any different from anything else. And I'm going to try this mascara though. This is a L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes. I'm not even going to read the back. I'm just going to put this on because, oh yeah, I got to get out of here. Looks like this. It's very pretty. Okay. I think I like it already. Yeah, I think I like it. Guys, this one's nice. I don't know. I think this tube might be a little dry, though. I think I might be taking this back because it feels like it's dry. Drying out. But I do like it. Anyway, guys, I got to go. I'm going to get my son up. We can get up out of here. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Be good. Try to be good. But if you can't be good, be good at it.